dispute in this picture was not acting alone. Take a look at the 3D version of where Donald Trump was speaking. You can see the places for people to sit on both sides. And then of course, the infamous building where he was somehow able to have a clear line of sight at President Trump. That is something that's supposed to be almost impossible to happen. Everyone knows how under fire Donald Trump is right now on almost all fronts, how much they want to take him out, how big of a threat he is to the three letter agencies. Of course, security has to be at an utmost level of importance right now, even more so than ever before. And so, of course, they're going to make sure that every single building is sealed off. They're going to make sure there's no possible way for you to have that ability to take him out. And even if you somehow can get kind of close, you'd be neutralized almost immediately. And that's where we get into the most disturbing part of this story. Multiple people who were at the event reported afterwards that they were yelling at officers, hey, look, there's someone up there. Someone may be about to open fire trying to get their attention. And yet somehow for multiple minutes, he was able to set up and then he was able to take the infamous shot that is now something that is going to be heard around the world. Now, a lot of people also don't realize how close it was to hitting Trump. This was not just some amateur person. This is someone who is clearly highly trained. It was a perfect shot. The only reason why it didn't hit him is because he happened to turn his head at the last second. It almost certainly was divine intervention. There's no other way to really explain what happened here. And that's why I think it's so important that we don't just look at this in the way the media wants us to. We have to continue to investigate because they're going to try it again. This was one of the three letter agencies trying to do what they've done before with the Kennedys, with other important politicians and figures. If you are a threat to the system that's big enough and you have a very serious chance to win, they will make sure that you don't get that chance anymore by taking your life. I'm praying for Donald Trump. I'm praying for his family. And of course, Barron, who had to watch this, his young son, who is now about to go off to college and who is seeing his dad fighting for his life to try to save the country. That's as poetic, as majestic, as patriotic as it can possibly get. My investigation